hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video I am going to be covering this. Uh, this is a coloring book that I made just for a hobby back in I believe maybe 2016 to 2017. Um, it's not really much but I just thought it'd be kind of fun to kind of go through it. Um, I just needed like a kind of a quick video. I'm going on a two-week business trip coming up. Um, I think starting this weekend so I just really wanted to get something out there and I really didn't have time to finish what I was currently working on so I'm going to be skipping the video I originally had uh, for the beginning of September and I'm going to go ahead and get this one out first. So this is kind of the book. It's Mandy Kay's Coloring for Days Sweet Treats Edition. Um, in this book I've got about 25 pictures. Um, they're not very good but I do think that they're really fun to kind of color. So yeah, here's the color of the book, and then this is the front page, and I really like this picture, um, and I mean obviously now I feel like I could totally draw a little bit better obviously, but I really just liked how I have like a really nice background and such, and for me backgrounds is something I don't do very often. I think you guys might be able to tell. Um, and then the next page is just kind of my acknowledgments. And then this page here is kind of like a cutout page. You're supposed to rip it out um, and be able to put it between the other pages. So like if you use markers or something, it doesn't bleed through. I personally, when I've colored, have just taken another sketchbook page and just used it. You can obviously see. Um, and it's actually worked really well. It's about the same thickness as this paper, if not a little thinner. And it's pretty much worked for my markers. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of throw away page, but I didn't want it just to be completely blank. Um, so yeah, I just did some cute little doodles on it. This is the picture in it that I've actually already colored. Um, I haven't done the background or anything. Um, I just really wanted to try and color it and see how it worked. And you can obviously see from here where I put this in behind it just to kind of get it done. This is one of my favorite uh, pieces in this. Um, the entire book is themed Sweet Treats. So, yeah, everything has something to do with um, some kind of treat, obviously. Like, she has a cupcake beside her, and, you know, she is a cupcake. Um, so, yeah, this is just probably one of my favorite ones in here. The next page is definitely not so good as the other one. Um, I just really tried to make sure that there was plenty of different things to color in each page. And each one is kind of anime-themed. As you can tell, it's kind of my style. This one, she has like a little cake and cupcake kind of stuff on her head. Um, and her outfit's got some little candy things, some stripes. Just, and it's kind of like a tea time. This one here is where I was trying to draw a male. I'm not so good at drawing males just because as a female, I tend to draw females a lot more. That tends to be with a lot of people that draw anime or manga style. Um, it's just, it's not as comfortable for me, so I was like, I really wanted to try something, and this is like my candy fighter. He has like a candy sphere, um, his little energy attack is literally a piece of candy. Um, I kind of went over the top with the theme with these. Um, the backgrounds literally got candies, um, and yeah, I think like this little attack thing down here has spirals. These are like chocolate chip mounds. I definitely kind of went over the top with the, the design idea. This one here is just my hot chocolate and cookies kind of theme. Um, the girl down here is holding a cookie. Um, there's hot chocolate. It's just kind of supposed to be like a wintry little piece. Uh, this is one of the first ideas I came up with the book. Uh, in the book. Um, this is like her hairstyle. It's literally ice cream. And it's melting. Just imagine if you had like an ice cream head and it was melting. Um, I just kind of sketched out doodle it and I was like... I kind of like the idea and this is what I ended up with um, it's it was just kind of cute when I thought of it and I just I did kind of like it this one here um, this actually was just a small piece of a bigger drawing that I had originally designed for this but I just didn't like because I went overboard with the background again I made like a whole candy land um, so this is all that I ended up putting in the actual book um, so I created this character first, and I realized that it was just weird that, you know, she's just standing there by herself looking around, and so I put this little girl in here. Um, I imagine her to be her little sister, and she's more accepting of this candy land than her older sister. 
Okay, so this page is inspired by me and my significant other. Um, we actually went on a date before I drew this, um, and we ate some delicious food. Um, obviously not different kinds of cake, um, but we shared a milkshake at the end, and I was just like, this would be kind of cute to put in a design, so I ended up putting that in there. Um, the sweet treat for this one is cupcakes again. Um, you can tell from the cupcake she's holding and then our cupcakes are on the edge. This was a little bit inspired kind of like by Monster High and such. Um, I really actually enjoy the way this one came out and I like the kind of, I think 18th century kind of look it has and kind of steampunk look. Um, she's kind of like a wooden robot, um, I kind of think. And I just, I really like the way it came out for that. This one here is just, I didn't want everything to be completely anime manga themed. So on this one, I literally just drew a bunch of different kind of candies and foods. Um, and then I realized it just didn't make sense just to have them out. So it's like a bag kind of emptying out up here um, for the candies and stuff to fall. And when I did that, I realized, oh, I should probably change the direction everything's going in. So I kind of flipped it from where I had originally drawn it. So some things look like upside down, but they're falling out. Um, I think the piece of this is actually the background of the color cover. So if you see like the colored version, it's this one here. So this piece is one of the original ones I had made for this. Um, concept for this coloring book as well. Um, it's this little girl and she's in a candy land. She has a little candy dog um, and there's a candy kitty down here. Uh, and yeah, she's just sitting on some steps and there's, like I said, it's a candy land. So there's literally candy everywhere. Maybe it was just flying off. And if you didn't blame me about liking to draw uh, cute foods, um, I think I definitely do. <laughs> Um, this one I just knew sweets aren't all unhealthy so I wanted to just put some little fruits and of course I had to put little faces on them so there's plenty to color in this one. All of my grapes have different faces. Down here I have an apple, a lemon or lime, and a slice, little berries, strawberries. Um, you can't see in the corner right now but there's a pear down there, um, a little watermelon and a slice. Um, I originally just was going to do them just regular, but then I decided, oh, I'll make a slice of everything. There is like either another lime or lemon and a slice down here as well. I figured, you know, they're not always open, so, or uh, they're not, you, you need to see like what the inside looks like. So, got my little melon. Um, I actually put a tomato over here because I was like, you know what, I need to put something different. <laughs> tomato is a fruit, so <laughs> I put that in there. Um, this one here is my Cotton Candy Girl. I do kind of like this one, um, the way it came out. I think I could actually probably redraw it and actually make it look a lot better now, but I really, really do like it. I love this style of kind of shapes and stuff. Um, so yeah, this one's really cute to me. This one here is terrible. This was just, I need something and I don't know what else to do. Um, I actually had drawn this before and then I decided to convert it into a candy theme. So I went with the spirals, um, the lollipops, and then added little stuff. Um, I kind of really wish I hadn't have included this because it looks pretty terrible, but we'll just, we'll just get away from that. So this one is my kind of Christmas holiday theme. Um, I don't want to completely knock it out of you. Oh, hey there. Hey there, little dog. Um, so yeah. You can see it is a girl on a kind of gingerbread train, um, and she's on her way to the North Pole. Um, I really like this one. I tried to color it before, um, but I don't have it in this copy. But yeah, there's definitely plenty to color on here. Um, and I actually don't love coloring stuff just because I don't think I'm any good at it. Um, so that's why I decided to make this coloring book so I could give it away to my friends, and um, if anybody wanted it, they could color it too. So this one I have mixed feelings about. Um, obviously the anatomy is so terrible and obviously in my animated drawings my anatomy is not so good but it used to be a lot worse than it is obviously. Um, so yeah this is my kind of donut piece. I kind of made each one kind of themed. So we've got little donuts in her hair, donut outfit, um, donuts in her hair on the ends of the pieces, a um, bunch of donuts, and she's feeding the dog donuts. Don't feed your dog donuts unless they're doggy donuts. Um, and if you do feed your dog donuts, make sure he's a donut himself because my doggy is a donut. Um, and yeah, so yeah, kind of went overboard with the themes, but I was just really enjoying it. 
So this is actually the cover. Um, I think in my original proof, I had for some reason put black across and black across the top. But yeah, I just, I, I just sketched this out, kind of one of the last few things for this book, and I decided I really liked it, and I wanted to include it not just on the cover, but I wanted it to be a piece in there. So I just left it on there so anybody could recolor it. So if you didn't want to do this color scheme, which I had so many different uh, colors that I originally went to go for this, but this is the one I went for. So if you didn't want to do pink, teal, and blue, and red, you could do any other color you want to. Um, I tend to make a lot of my anime girls a little bit of a darker skin tone. Um, so I was trying really hard with the front not to do that because I knew it when I had in mind, like, um, this girl here, I definitely wanted her to have a darker skin tone. Um, and then I know the girl on the train, I want to have a darker skin tone and I just really didn't want to do that for the cover. Um, so this one's kind of cool. It's like my, uh, superhero, candy superhero girl. Um, I don't hate it. I don't, definitely don't love it. Um, but yeah, the more I look at them, the more I don't like them. But I think I didn't like them more when I, like, when I first finished, I didn't like a lot of them. And now I look back, I'm like, they're okay. <laughs> I do notice that I do a lot of, um, pieces from kind of a three quarters view or almost full view but slightly not so I'm really trying to work on that but it's kind of hard for me and again this is my cute another cute foods um I definitely think my art banner is a lot better than this but it's kind of inspired by this um I think some of the pieces I almost put very similar I think like this candy maybe I even used the same kind of sketch I just resketched it um but yeah I think maybe I even took some of these ideas and made them uh, back into my art banner because I definitely looked over this before I did my art banner. Um, this is actually, I think, the first piece that I did um, for this book. I had drawn a candy witch and I thought she was really cute. Um, yeah, I think this was like the very first sketch that I come up with for it. I was kind of Wizard of Oz inspired. I was like, witch <laughs> and not a road. Um, but yeah, I don't hate her. I definitely would maybe like to redo her now. Um, and maybe like on my iPad so I could like fully flush her out. Okay, so this piece is kind of my topsy-turvy cake piece. Um, I just really wanted to do something a little off-center, um, a little whimsical. Um, there's definitely a lot of things that are wrong, like this cake is falling off. It's literally falling off. Um, she has a cake like dress. It's kind of my Alice in Wonderland themed. So most of these are like animated girls, but you know. I mean, it's not terrible. It's very amateurish, but that's kind of my thing. Um, but yeah, I don't hate it. I don't love it, but it's definitely probably going to be fun to color if I ever get to it. Um, this one here is my fishing one. Um, I actually did this when I went fishing. I don't really like to fish too much because I don't like killing the fish. So I just kind of drew a little bit while sitting at a table. Um, yeah, there's like little gummy fish. She didn't put Swedish fish because, you know, probably shouldn't do that. Um, pretty much all the, like the fish and stuff are candies. Um, they're using candy canes to, uh, fish with. Um, the guy's literally falling off, um, of the back of the boat. Um, yeah, you know, I just wanted to do something a little different than what I've been doing. This one here is I like it but my significant other does not like this one um it's my s'more piece it's my sleepy s'more piece so if you don't know what it is you probably won't know um this is a marshmallow <laughs> and some beds and then a blanket wrapped around it um and then they have like this is some chocolate and um more little marshmallows on the shirt and then she's actually wearing graham cracker stocking stockings um his is kind of just the leopard print but yeah <laughs> the actual s'more it's okay it's kind of a cute idea and this was the one that was in the front um that i really did actually kind of like i could definitely do it better now um but i just really liked it i thought it was really cute and clever how it's like set up in the front um, this was just, I was like, I should have a birthday one and it should, somebody should be sliding out or popping out. So yeah, this is kind of how what I came up with for that. Um, again, it's not that great, but I really do like the ideas that I came up with. Um, and that I kept with a the theme and just ruined it for a really, really long time and then flushed them out. 
Um, some of them you can tell I got a little like, oh, I need to finish. I need to get done with this. This has been a long project, but yeah. Um, this one was probably one of those that I was just talking about. Um, I drew this, I think, for something else completely. Excuse me for that. Um, I just drew it, and then I was like, oh, I'm supposed to be doing a sweet treats theme. So then I put little, like, gumballs in the hair and around the neck, and yeah. And for some reason, I did a big little braid, and then I did a big braid up here. And I just like the way it looked. I thought it'd be really cool to kind of color. So you get plenty to color in here. I think I had just watched like a Bailey J how to draw braids when I made this and I just kept going and going and going with the braids. Um, I think this might be the last picture of the book. Um, this is also one of my favorites. I made sure the first couple were the ones I really like and the last one I definitely liked. Um, it's a donut girl. Um, and to show that I really like her and how I did it, I actually put her on the back. Um, so yeah, it's making sweet coloring masterpieces over 25 different manga and anime style drawings with a sweet theme hours of exciting coloring activities so yeah guys this is my book and i just thought i would go ahead and make a little video just showing my book because it's just something that i was really proud to finally complete and have like a bunch of pictures that i made that i could color later so thank you guys for not watching um stay tuned i'll probably keep doing the every other week thing right now but there's always going to be a video um at least every other saturday so thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget you can like you can comment you could subscribe and just check out the rest of my stuff bye